And this was so cool. This was like some cute curry. I was so obsessed. I'm taking you inside the biggest and most insane Daiso in Japan. The store is on a whole new level. Like I've never seen anything this massive. Located in Chiba, right off Funabashi Station. This Daiso is like a tower of kawaii and anime goodness. And I can't wait to show you all the treasures I found. Ichi-ni-san! So here we are, look at this place, it's super huge. As soon as I step inside, the first floor is packed with everything from household items to car accessories. And here I just look around and I'm so amazed to see some really cute little convenient fans that are without electricity. So I wanted to talk how crazy big this Daiso is. This whole floor itself is extremely big already. There was already a market in here and also a little section where they have just general supplies and everything like that. But here is a general sense of what it all looks like so far. Glasses! And then there's me! <laughs> This section, there was a lot of arm warmers. I think that's just for fashion. And then there was leggings that looked really cute for fashion or just for warmth. I really like zipper bags because you can put anything that you would like in there and organize stuff and good for makeup as well. There's even a mini food market. And let me tell you, it's no regular convenience store. It's a, a full-on grocery store with the cutest snacks. And think Hello Kitty, Sumiko, Garashi, and even Pokemon themed treats you can only find here in Japan. I was in shock in the many, many rows of food and selections you can choose. And this is not just your regular snack and to go, but it's basically like a full on grocery store for real. You can get your full groceries here in this Daiso. I was so excited to see all the cute snacks and it was just so surprising. I've never seen such cute and kawaii snacks ever with very familiar characters that I've seen before. And here's an anime snack or a little toy. And here's some Pokemon snacks. Oh my gosh, I really wanted to get one. I didn't get one, but dang, it was just so much to see. I didn't have enough time. And I looked around and there was even more cute kawaii snacks and Kuromi and Sanrio. And I really, really wish we had this in the United States. That would have been, that would be so awesome. I thought this section was really cool. There was some anime packaging and I think those were like stickers or some sort. And I thought this was so cute. I think they're from actual anime. And there were some cute little snacks right underneath. There was a candy section and Yutama. And then here are some like anime themed candies, I think. And more, and then cinnamon roll, which was so cute. It like flopped its ears. Many, many Pocky and pretzel snacks. They even had squid snacks, dried fish, and it was all in one section. And here's the nuts section. This was kind of interesting, but I found some corn in a plastic bag? What? And then here's some jelly. I love me some little drinks like this where they have little particles in there, and it looked so good. Rows of snacks. It's snack heaven here for real. And here we go to another section with snacks and some peanut butter jelly? Like what? In a package? This was so cool. And there was a packaging for like real food in there. And what is that? It's, it's so crazy. And then more cute anime stuff. And this is for like ramen. Yeah, this is stuff that you put in the ramen. And it was so cute. Oh. Uh, Pikachu rice shapes. A row of cup noodles, lots of variety, and really cute, uh, I don't know, cute rice shapes? And they had faces on them, so I don't know what it is, but I think it's just like little kits. And here is like some uh, fish snacks or something like that, I think. And uh, slime. I was going to say jelly, but it's slime right here. And here's some toys here, um, or like stuff that you can make. And these are like the little beads that you heat up and then make cute little characters or like cartoons and a naked Hello Kitty. And this was so cool. This was like some cute curry. 
I was so obsessed. This curry is like for kids or something, but it looked delicious and adorable. The snacks look so crazy. And this section is like just a full on toy section. I wasn't too interested in this part because it's just like little stuff that I could just get at some other toy store. But there wasn't anything that really caught my eye too much. Just little cute dolls here were so cute. And then this section, it was like a goofy party section where you can have all these weird little gadgets for like fun parties and just to make your friends and family laugh. I love looking at little essentials like these because they are so helpful for everyday use. And you know, these are just little cheap items and a selfie light. This is so helpful and earphones. And this is like, I think for car stuff or I don't know. Here you can see all the floors and what they have in each floor. So I'm excited to see all six floors. It's a lot to take in, but I'm ready for the adventures. Okay. Ito. So now I'm heading to the second floor and it's even more overwhelming in the best way possible. This floor is where all the cute and crafty stuff lives. And I'm telling you, if you love DIY projects like I do, you'll be obsessed. But before we hit that crafty section, there's this whole section where there's all kinds of cute bags and cute little knickknacks that I saw on this section of this floor. And as you can see, it has a lot of Sanrio items and cute items for your home. And then some stickers that looks really cute and a collab with Disney, I bet. Cute bags that you could put stuff in and then stickers, just cute things all over the place. And then Zootopia items. Oh! this i was so obsessed and then very cute essentials like these little plastic bags of very famous characters i love this so much and there were sanrio items here in daiso there were some cute bags that were super very convenient and then i had really cute kawaii imprints on it i love that and hello kitty i'm so obsessed with hello kitty merch and it's just so cheap here in daiso me looking super excited and then i go around there's like post-its or something and then rice shapers um, and then I go on this side, there was like cute little Sanrio chopsticks and cute cups. Here's my favorite section is where all the crafts are. And if you're a creative person like me, you would love this part of Daiso. And there was a lot of exclusive stuff that you cannot find in America. And everything that you can find that would help you in your craft is here in this Daiso. There was a lot of handy dandy stuff that you could use as tools. But again, it's not in America's Daiso and it really sucks because there's so many helpful items here. I was tempted to buy a lot of items, but I didn't have enough room in my carry-ons. But yeah, just take in and absorb everything that you're going to see here in these clips because there's just so many, so many items or materials for everything crafty. So I'm a crafter myself and buying cheap things is so much better than buying anything expensive because you know I like to craft whatever I want and I don't want to go over my budget and and it's so cool to see that Daiso has everything that you could ever need and it's also such great quality and very good choices of things that you just need to make for like a very simple project but you could start being creative if they don't have everything that you really need in the Daiso you can just use these little essential items that are super cheap. So if you're creative, you don't really have a problem. This is one of my favorite sections because it's all things Deco Den and a lot of materials that you can use for like decorating cute keychains or everything like that. These are resin molds and here are some decorative parts that you can use in your Deco Den creations. I just love how everything is just together and you can just find what you need and then make your creations and it's just got me so excited. It's like your own handy dandy cheap shop. This section is one of my favorite sections because I love creating with resin and just like cute deco den. This was colored resin that you can choose. And I get so incredibly excited just shopping for these things and how much variety you can choose. There was also different shapes of molds where you can pour resin into. They even have a UV lamp. That's even crazy. This is especially really great for crafters who really want to give them as gifts or give them to friends and family and also sell their crafts online. So that makes Daiso even better because also it's really cheap. 
Keep in mind, all these selections are still like a dollar or so, and it's just insane to see so much of this variety that you could see at a regular craft store that even cost even more pricier. I really love this bead section because there was all kinds of cute kawaii styles of beads and cute colors. They even had a mixture of beads already inside a packet. You can literally make cute jewelry, cute keychains, and it's just so cute to see these types of beads here in Daiso. And they got different shapes and sizes. Crafting supplies always makes me excited and it's always been a nostalgic thing as a little girl because I've always been crafty. I just wish I had this when I was younger and this is construction board and here is a trace board. This section was like for like bags and then there was these like little capsule cases and I think you can make little keychains and then put them in the bags here. It was so interesting. I love how you can just be super customizable by just buying some things in the store and then you can just make it at home and DIY. This is one of my favorite sections in Daiso and I cannot wait to show you. First off, here's an example of creations that look like in this picture right here and there's some pictures using the clay that's here in Daiso. There was a lot of different variations of clays and here let me show you some of the different clays that they had here. I've been a crafter for very many years and seeing this was so exciting for me because I used to make like deco den and I would shape like the clays to make cute little objects, little cute keychains and everything like that. And it's just so cute to see that there's this many materials here nowadays and in Daiso as well. It's super affordable here and they even have the whipped cream for like deco den. I don't know if you know what deco den is. It is like kawaii decorations that you can basically make with like clay or any kind of material to create cute crafts and here's the really cool part they had so many clays and i'm like what kind of creations could you make with these kind of clays and i'm very interested to know and hopefully there's some youtube videos about it but look at these different types it's just insane it just keeps going on and on There's even clays in little packets and they got different colors. This is a bake and dry clay. Ah, oh, I'm so jealous and I just, I know I would be buying a lot if we had this in America, in the States. I would be making so many keychains and so much creations and deco den and then give them as gifts too. And I love giving little cute creations as gifts and it's just like, this has all that you could ever want. Oh, this is really interesting. You see these little colors of packets right here, the purple and the black and the green. These are like heat boil uh, material that melts and then you can basically shape it. And they're like clear and they had glitter as well. This is all in one craft kit that you can basically have all the materials to make cute crafts with. And I love this because that is so cool and cute. And here is the painter section. There is so much variety, so much materials and colors to choose from. You can use different paints or anything like that. I love this section because there's a lot of painters out there that want to paint and create beautiful creations. And it's all here in Daiso. What's really cool about this section is that there's a sealing wax section and I was so shook about this and I never seen where there's seal products anywhere else in some other crafts. I mean, maybe some, but this Daiso had it. In this section, there's all kinds of office supplies and school supplies, which makes it awesome because people love getting stuff for their work or anything like that. It's all there. But yeah, it gets overwhelming because there is tons and tons of supplies like erasers to pens to I don't know. It's just everything from everything. And here I stroll along. There's a lot of like cute items, cute book stands or something and so many supplies school supplies 
it's so endless magnets and hooks and then whiteboards and scissors like really cute scissors but everything's just there i'm so overwhelmed just so many cool stuff and you, as you can see i kind of rushed through everything i really wanted to get everything as much as i can in this video and these are stamps this is pretty interesting but this is where there was like little tiny mirrors here and little keychain cases cute little cases right here for cards or you can put your pictures your polaroids in that's really interesting you know purikura and little stickers i love seeing anime products in daiso because you don't really see that in regular daisos in the states but it's so cool because there's anime products if you're an anime fan you should go to the daiso in japan because this is what kind of products they that they have in store so cute and kawaii This is like little birthday cards or where you can put like little envelopes in and cute Disney products. There was this huge stationary section and it was just more sections of more of each category. I know it's a crazy thing and it was so much selections and I love this part because there's like little jewel stickers and I loved how cute they were. And along this side, I think these were just like convenient little uh, lights or something like that. It just looked really cool. There were so many selections, so many cool stuff. And I go along this side and I rushed through it because I didn't want to take too much time in the Daiso. And I had a whole day that I didn't want to lose. So I had to rush a little through and I really wanted to get everything in the shot. Despite it wasn't that clear, I can give you a general sense of what's around the Daiso. So you can tell there's a lot of stuff. And here's some hole punchers! And so now on to the third floor, another overwhelming floor of full of stuff, and this is just the kitchenware. And it's a lot of kitchenware, from kitchenwares to many, many utensils, just everything kitchenware. <laughs> And I wanted to show you a general sense of this floor, so I kind of rushed through it because, again, I wanted to rush a little bit. But you can see what is in store. There's a lot of very convenient stuff. I wish I could show you one by one or just things like that, but I didn't want to make this video too boring. But you can see there's so many cool stuff. And there's a garden section on this side. There was a lot of flowers and I love the selections and I usually don't like fake flowers but this was a cool selection of dried looking flowers. So I really like the dried flowers aesthetic and here are some really great quality plates that looked really beautiful and the paint was beautiful. And here's cute kawaii plates, bowls, and the fourth floor. Oh my gosh, more stuff. And this is the beauty section with all the hair stuff and nail stuff and just a lot of cute stuff that is super great for your beauty look and everything and it just comes with everything keychains oh my gosh like so much stuff i usually use clips for my bangs because i get really annoyed with my bangs that get away in my face and here's a variety of like hair extensions which i really like because i like colored hair and some nail stuff that are a whole great selection of selections of nails and i tried one of these nails before in daiso and they're not very great quality but you know it stayed on for a few days but the, the colors kind of chipped off but here are also just rows of more beauty stuff and i bet you this would probably save somebody's life <laughs> And I don't know what I meant by saving someone's life, it's just beauty stuff. But here are a whole section of bags and cool keychains. I love keychains. It's just even worse when there's even a lot of keychains because I would want all of it. 
cute bags, oh my gosh. And I rushed through this part, but here are some of the scents and aromas that you can get and cool bathing items, really cool. Or, oh my gosh, I'm sweating because it's a lot to talk about here. And now on to the fifth floor. This fifth floor is just basically like all cleaning stuff, house stuff. And I wasn't too interested in the cleaning stuff because I don't know what I'm going to do with it. Just clean and clean. <laughs> but I didn't really need to see this. But you kind of get like a general sense of what's going on here. There's a lot of like mops and dusters and all cleaning essentials. And it was just so crazy. I can't believe there was a whole floor for this. But I wanted to show you guys because this is the most overwhelmingness Daiso I've ever been to. And you guys have to see each floor. So yeah, that's what it looks like. And oh my gosh, there was like a whole section of plastic cases. It's just plastic, plastic cases everywhere. And sixth floor, finally, here we are. This is mainly garden stuff. And I thought I just saw a garden stuff in the bottom floor somewhere. But there's another garden section, and this is crazy, just more garden stuff. And I love the different colors of aesthetics of the flowers here. You can basically choose whatever you like. And so many selections. <laughs> this is a garden person's dream, I swear to you. But it's fake flowers, and eh, you know, they're cheap, so you can still like decorate your house with really nice flowers and still be really happy. And oh my gosh, I'm crossing through. There's so many selections of different types of aesthetics and here i go across the store there was so many um pet supplies here in this part of the section and then when you go through the store there's a lot of other garden stuff and it's like a home depot now i'm kind of shook now it's just a daiso that's just not only that it's a dollar it's literally a depot a depot for each category here <laughs> but you gotta see for yourself you wouldn't have a whole day to see everything i just rushed through this so here is the general sense of this floor So what did you guys think? I told you this Daiso was huge and absolutely packed with kawaii goodies. Which floor was your favorite? Would you visit the massive Daiso if you had the chance? Drop a comment below and let me know what you loved the most. Or if there's something you'd want to see more of. And don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that bell so you can join me on more adventures through Japan and beyond. See you in the next videos!